Whoa! Well, I'm gonna do two videos today. I'm gonna do one of this is the newest uh, creation to take the place of all of the furnaces I built that have never been big enough. This one is gonna definitely big enough, and I tried to build it to where it's out of uh, pretty common items using fire brick, a little bit of castellite, and some. 2x2x8 two by two by angle iron and a little flat bar. So let me swing the camera down here. This little furnace uh, is made up of fire bricks. The front bricks slide open. You can adjust them. Because airflow is really, really important on furnaces. Okay, so it's got two heavy blocks on the bottom. These are the full two inch thick down inside. And then everything else fits in an angle iron framework. The top just lays on. The side walls just stack in there. And then the back, I cast in. I used Castellite. This sucker is pretty heavy. I'll turn it around. And this furnace is going to use my uh, red dragon torch. The top hole is at about a 60 degree angle and the bottom hole is straight in. I'll get my torch and throw it in there real quick. So if I got something smaller in there the torch will go in through the horizontal. There's going to be torch holder brackets that will be bolted here. And then for taller items, it will go in at an angle. And again, there'll be uh, holders to hold it. And believe me, this torch does a great job. So I heated this up to 450 degrees for an hour today. That castable has got a cure for... Oh, probably, I do my other furnaces, I put them in the wife's oven, but not going to do that on this one. So, anyway, that's just the newest thing that I've got going, and uh, it's pretty simple to build, and that's why another reason I went ahead and spent the money for the EVO 380 was this whole thing's just made out of straight cuts of, of angle iron so anyway coming soon to an ebay near you the red dragon furnace more later bye